All right, back at it today. We uh, are out here at station station uh, one there, and uh, I'm going to be working the other end of that that cable. Um, it is uh, six thousand eight hundred and nine, or yeah, six thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight feet, uh, according to the OTDR and according to the, um, the counters. Oh no, I think that cop's about to pull that dude over. Huh, maybe not. Um, we do, we've got our wacky arm wave, wave inflatable tube man or whatever it is. Uh, he's gonna be hanging out with us today. But we're gonna build a, a Comscope A case. Um, we got our flat drop adapter and uh, we've got um, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get started and um, we'll get the get the cable prepped and case mounted. Cool. So I don't know what, but I cut myself freaking annoying. But uh, um, this, for whatever reason, I had this. I guess this was the end of the 21,000 foot reel, and uh, I don't know. It was way more difficult to get into this thing. Um, than the other side, which I, I don't, I don't know, but, um, got our flat drop adapter, um, prepped, that's going to land right there, um, going to put some tape on this here, just to make sure that it's nice and tight, and then, uh, we'll get our slack in the basket, and we'll be messing around with the green here, I'll go grab my chair, and, uh, we'll do some, uh, we'll do a splice right quick. We'll go ahead and we'll get our slack basket populated. Um, and, uh, probably, I mean, ultimately, there'll be 12, uh, there'll be 24 splices on this tray, um, except, though, and potentially there'll be five, uh, if it does happen, we'll get, uh, five tubes on the tray, which, I, it's, it's not a big deal. Just, it's not a big deal for just one fiber customer. This is a dark fiber. Um, so once I complete the splice, uh, we'll go inside. And uh, after that, I'm, uh, I'm gonna let them know we're, we're good to rock and roll um, because uh, we're not providing any services um, on, the, on, the, on the line. We're not lighting it, I guess is how you would say that. Um, but uh, cool, well let's go ahead and let's get, uh, get to cracking. All right, a um, little slower just because this is like jelly, jelly filled. But uh, I've got my two cables prepped. I'm gonna land it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a tube on. Fire up this splicer here. Uh oh, here we go. Cool. And uh, got our area ready to rock. We're just doing a single. I'll splice. Um, just trying to, try to keep everything cleaned up here, and uh, let's go ahead and get at it. Looks like there was a fire or something. The fire department uh, rolled out. And, I don't know what's going on? All right, just gotta move over to put my ring on. Um, single uh, single fiber. They're going to be using uh, bi-directional optics and uh, wrap this all up. I think I might just go take a peek inside right quick. Um, but uh, we're good. We're good to go right there. Um, cool. Well, it is. Um, Gonna be a little, little tight here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> there is no room anywhere uh, here. Um, it's a block wall right next to a toolbox. So they are think they are canceling Comcast. So I think what I might do is let this come out and hang down. And I might have to put my box right there. Unfortunately, but. Uh, this is cool. They got a table for me. 
um, going to be doing a splice. Uh, what looks like the uh, Jaws of Life uh, right next to me. Kind of, kind of neat. This will be definitely a first. It's like hydraulic up. Right. We uh, finished up there at the firehouse. Now we're down um, down to the zoo where we were pulling the pulling the cable and whatnot. And uh, we're working here in a um, mid span. That's my uh, loop. So this will be the first uh, mid span attempt uh, on this cable, which um, hopefully I'm better than just what I did. I cut the shit out of my hand. Um, so we'll see uh, see how far we get. I'll probably be able to splice this, build the case, and splice it. But I don't think I'll be able to get inside the zoo today. I want to though. All right, we uh, I did run out of black tape, so <laughs> we're going we're going red. I stole this from uh, Kirk. So. Uh, this is about how much I want. I don't want to overpopulate this, this box because it is a uh, A case. Um, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and start hacking away at this uh, and hope I don't uh, hurt myself. So I don't really know how to explain it, but it is easier for, I think it's because maybe I'm not dealing with just the end. So I have like some strength to it. It's not flying around, but it was easier. Um, and basically that's where I want to uh, enter and that's where I want to exit. Um, so I've got uh, about a hand length there um, And I got my rip cords exposed. I'm gonna go ahead and ring it uh, right there and um, This can be pretty freaking quick uh, that, that was awesome. So I was a little sketched out with the mid span because the metal and the pla the black and the metal the jacket and the metal armor they're like glued together uh, they've like melted together but that went that went fantastic cool this uh might be one of the best um just winging it uh mid spans no i didn't measure it i just uh kind of did it from memory you know and uh look at that there is not but i don't know maybe a half of an inch it could be a half inch shorter um, but what the heck, man? That's that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty, pretty nice. And uh, we're just like just coming down on that tube just a little tiny bit. I'll fix it before I'm done. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll just leave it and just put it one tray up. I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, what I did, I, not a big deal. I basically just, I just raised this here up uh, one notch. There we go, right there. That guy needs apparently blood, sweat, and tears, I guess. Um, that way it's not, there's no pressure on there. Um, also, this is literally, I mean, the zoo. There's, there's no other customer would ever really come out of this box, so um, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and uh, use our uh, mid span tool. I love this tool, um, it has not failed me yet. Um, but uh, pretty well, just need to enter this cable, but I do not want to cut anything. Um, and uh, this works, this works just great. So let's go ahead and get that and let's get prepped for splicing. Yeah, buddy. Let's get her first shot. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, got our um, mid spans all laid out here. I'm gonna make sure my splice gets put in first in case I do have to get back in the case. But good fun. There you have it. 
uh, single fiber mid span on a 96 count. Nice and clean looking. That's the um, orange fiber going west. So it's not, uh, it's dead now. You could use it for something else. Now, let's go on inside the zoo. I'm actually kind of excited. I don't know what, what to expect. Definitely uh, a little bit different here. We are uh, in the zoo and there's we got the kangaroos right over there. Yeah. That uh, the zoo is pretty cool, man. There was a ton of people in there. I didn't realize it'd be uh, that packed, but I was in the uh, like a bird sanctuary. Uh, it's pretty pretty crazy, but this was a. 12 count that we brought out of that case over there that we spliced and then it goes up the street crosses the street and then cuts across and then it's like I don't know 150 feet that direction is what we hooked up but I uh that was a big that was a busy damn day but I uh, hope everybody enjoyed